As we head deeper into the 21st century, the mind is the new frontier, and from a military standpoint the new battleground, as governmental military corporate organizations become enmeshed with each other, to push the same artificial intelligence-driven agenda of NWO. Research is feverishly underway, with the aim of completely understanding and decoding the brain, with the idea that such an understanding will lead to many useful benefits, but not for the average person, such as governments being better able to control their citizens without threats or force, and military forces being better able to defeat their enemies without firing a single shot. Do you realize you and your mind are being targeted? And, on the other hand, do you realize you can harness the power of your mind to achieve your potential, including lifting yourself out of poverty, creating deep and strong relationships, and fulfilling your dreams? Mind control is a term with broad and specific meanings. In the broad sense, it refers to the widespread propaganda and programming, mostly doled out by the MSM, or mainstream media, that aims to brainwash people by limiting their perception of who they are, and what reality is. The idea of this broad mind control is always to manipulate and disempower the individual, so that his or her attitudes and behavior come into alignment with what the controllers want. It is said that Americans are the most propagandized people on Earth. In the narrower specific sense, mind control refers to the project started by the Nazis and continued by the CIA, that sought to influence and control people's minds to the point where they would become programmable robots, rendering themselves with docility into the hands of their manipulators. This would include doing whatever they were told, and, in some cases, not even remembering it, because the programming involved splitting up the person's mind into different alters or personalities, which were tightly compartmentalized in their brains. Each alter had no idea of the existence or actions of the other alters. A handler would then use certain triggers to activate a particular alter, and bring it to the front, in order to get the mind-controlled victim to perform certain actions. In this way, mind-controlled assassins were created and used in major political assassinations, such as with Robert Kennedy, and the dazed and confused Sirhan Sirhan. Mind-controlled sex slaves, for example, Kathy O'Brien, Bryce Taylor Arizona Wilder, Cisco Wheeler, Spalli, Kathy Collins and many more, have also been a common theme. The CIA's notorious MKUltra began in 1953. It is stated that it was shut down in 1973. When it was later declassified, the public learned there were an incredible 149 sub-projects. If you think the CIA, the government and other military agencies had a change of heart and suddenly stopped their mind control research, think again. Mind control continues today and has become even more advanced. Big tech corporations like Google, Alphabet, and Facebook, which are not really private companies, but rather a fusion of government military intelligence money direction with corporate execution, are investing millions of dollars into developing technologies that can read your thoughts and devices which make a computer mouse and typing obsolete. They want to access your thoughts and make it so your brain is directly connected to a computer, to the internet, and to artificial intelligence. The USG under Obama launched the Brain Initiative, estimated to cost $6 billion over a decade, $4.5 billion to the NIH alone. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla and founder of the Neuralink Corporation, is developing a device, like a neural lace, which he claims will basically read your mind. Dr. James Giordano, who worked at the DoD and DARPA, reveals all the areas the military is exploring, and it's scary. In his own words, this includes stuff like neuroimaging, cyberlink neurocog manipulation, directed energy devices, implantable BMIs, or brain-machine interfaces, nanoneurotechnologicals, nanochips and the neuroenhancement of soldiers. Yes, he actually admitted the existence of directed energy devices, DEW was used on 9-11s, and in other crimes such as the engineered fires in Paradise, California. These things are the admitted, overt brain research, and when it comes to exposing the conspiracy, there's always one thing we are told, and another thing that is actually happening. The covert brain research is even more shocking. Ex-CIA officer turned whistleblower, Dr. Robert Duncan, an engineer who built many of these systems, has for years exposed numerous covert current mind control techniques. He confesses that he worked on the V2K, or Voice to Skull, Voice of God weapon, which had four different techniques that can pipe voices into people's heads. This was used in the Iraq war against the Iraqi soldiers, lay down your guns, this is Allah. He reveals how dreams can be hacked, and people can be made to speak, forced speech. He also exposes how the following area are being researched and weaponized. 
remote mind reading, synthetic telepathy, cybernetic hive mind experimentation, multiple people sharing the same mental space, the existence and use of a technology for remotely cloning or copying thoughts, emotions and other states, for example, intense pain, onto a target, EEG cloning or EEG heterodyning. He also confirms that people can be targeted and tracked remotely via their energy signature or brain print. More and more people are blowing the whistle about how they are being attacked via electronic harassment and stalking. This is the remote assault on victims, known as TI, or targeted individuals, using frequency or directed energy weapons and other mind control technology to bombard people with invisible attacks. These TI are made to feel certain emotions and think certain thoughts which are not their own. Sadly, these TI may initially think they are crazy, and unfortunately many people around them do when they report it, however it is a very real phenomenon. Calling people crazy, forcing them to do a psychiatric evaluation, or having them locked up all old tricks that have been used by governments worldwide to silence political opponents and dissidents. In a nutshell, the overall point is this, control someone's mind, control their perception and control their reality, because perception creates reality. Mind control is a tool of a very few psychopathic manipulators to control the whole of humanity. Controlling your mind and taking back your power. So that's the bad news, and it's better to be aware of it than blindly ignorant of it just hoping it will go away. Far from going away, it's expanding and increasing. So what can you do in the face of all of that? Yes, you can be aware of it, and yes, you can take some steps to protect yourself against it. However I want to highlight how most of us don't use our brains to anywhere near the full potential. What if you took the full journey from mind control to controlling your mind? After all, if you don't control yourself, eventually someone outside of you will control you. Likewise, if you don't control your mind, someone else will control it. So, here's the good news. Controlling your mind is a choice. You have the power to expand your consciousness and use the untapped potential of your own mind, intentionally, for your own good. You can learn to harness the amazing capacity of your mind and emotions to create the life you want. How? There is ancient knowledge, wisdom and a host of techniques which explain how to do this. The theme of controlling your mind has many facets, however in this video, for the sake of brevity, I will touch on just a couple. Firstly, there is the nature of the mind itself, spewing out thought after thought. Many spiritual traditions emphasize the importance of meditation, inner silence and full immersion in the now or present moment. This is training to reign in the so-called monkey mind so that you control it, rather than allowing it to control you. Secondly, there is a formula for creating or manifesting in this life. The formula is very well known to the secret societies that underpin the NWO and run the world. It is intention plus emotion equals creation. Like any piece of knowledge or technology, it is neutral, it can be used for good or evil. If you use it for good, it's white magic, if you use it for evil, it's black magic. The key idea is to get clear on what you want, release any negative thoughts around it, for example, it's impossible, I'm unworthy, etc., make it specific and achievable, then focus on it. Then you bring your emotions into it. Imagine feeling grateful for whatever it is. Imagine the feeling of already having it. Make this imagining into a deep trust and knowing that what you want to create already exists and is yours for the taking. It works. This kind of magic power lies within each and every human, regardless of age, gender, race, religion or income bracket. And, it does not at all have to be limited to material things. Perhaps you wish to exercise your power on manifesting material things first, but after a while you may find it is more fulfilling to create and manifest non-material things, such as loving relationships with your children, parents, romantic partners, relatives and friends, or non-tangible things such as having more love, harmony, time and fun in your life. The sky is the limit with what you can manifest. Apply these principles in your own life by controlling your own mind and watch what happens. Use the power of your emotions to supercharge your vision, then watch as it springs into life. You don't need to focus on what the controllers are doing, being aware of it is enough. Focus instead on what you can do to control and expand your own mind, for that is where your power lies. The power of your will and consciousness is more than the power of their mind control technology. The mind is the source of our perception, and perception is the source of our reality. When we change our perception, we automatically change our reality. People are already waking up and doing this, realizing they are infinite consciousness using the body-mind as a vehicle for experience. Once we perceive ourselves as divine and deserving of love, freedom, abundance, peace and more as our birthright, we win the mind battle. Remember. 
Control yourself or someone else will control you. Control your mind or someone else will control it. The NWO agenda is to narrow the allowable, acceptable and ultimately possible range of human thought, so that it becomes illegal, unthinkable and ultimately impossible to think or do anything other than what the state wants you to think or do. However, humanity is 7.8 billion strong. A relative handful of manipulators cannot control your mind unless you willingly acquiesce and give your mind away. Think critically. Question everything. Read from a wide variety of sources. Investigate the origin and funding of those sources. Many are connected to the NWO in some way, for example, via Big Pharma, the military-industrial complex, Zionism, etc., all of which have massive lobbies and control over the MSM. Always check the facts. Don't rely on organizations to do your fact-checking for you. Everything is a mind game. You can take back your mind and perceptual sovereignty to rise above the control and achieve freedom and prosperity. This video is an article, written by Makia Freeman, he is the editor of alternative media or independent news site, thefreedomarticle.com, and senior researcher at toolsforfreedom.com. This was Everything Inside Me channel. Please like, give me a comment, share, and subscribe, don't forget to click the notification bell too. Thanks for watching till the end. Stay safe and healthy.